So uh, continuing on our kind of videos and interviews going around Salford, seeing landmarks, seeing different businesses and stuff like that, what makes Salford, Salford. We've come to one of the most iconic buildings in Salford, something that puts us on the map, not just in our country, but beyond. Salford Lads Club, made famous by the Queen is Dead cover um, of the Smiths. We're here with Leslie, who's going to give us a bit of a tour around. And we've had a lot, um, football, a lot of footballers from here, 26 professionals have started here. Right, okay. So there's a lot of things that attracted people like Morrissey and the Smiths to here. Um, but one thing that led to was the, the soap opera Coronation Street. Right. And it came from the work of Sheila Delaney, uh, who wrote Play a Taste of Honey. So that was the kind of instinct that got Morrissey here, that photograph. And then since uh, 1986, when that was on the album, we've had thousands and thousands of people come in. So we have a lot of footballers, haven't you? That come yeah. Through. Well, if you're looking at you know, the main uh, thing right here, we've got War Memorial about all the people who died, but we've also got. Um, Eddie Coleman trophy. So Eddie Coleman was a, uh, a lad here for about five years. He went camping with a club, and that's him in the cup final with Bobby Charlton, Duncan Edwards, and that's Eddie himself there. Mm -hmm. So when ten-year-olds are coming in here to join, this is the first thing they see, oh, sure. and they also see Jamie Moore's Lonsdale yeah. Bell, and they see the motto here to brighten young lives and make them citizens. So mm -hmm. you know it's a real powerful uh, introduction when you come through the door. Everybody here uh, are Manchester City supporters. Mm. And I think, you know, we've, we've got all this amazing history here, and yet they are just worldwide international club, and they don't really spend a lot of time yeah. in the community. And I think they should. Yeah. Don't realise the importance of it, do you? Yeah. Like a lot of yeah. time when I was growing up, like Preston similar to Salford in a way, where it's not like enriched with money or whatever, and mm. it's important for kids to have places like to just mm. come to and, and get out the street sort of thing and give them something to focus and enjoy. But like you said, I don't think people who are, hi uh, who are higher up in the in the world don't realise the importance of it for, for kids to come and, and enjoy the time you're like. Uh, and that's a blow up of um, Eddie Colton's car. Uh, that, that's quite spectacular. So, um, you know, he joined a uh, United Grand Staff and then became a professional footballer. He then went in the army, um, you know, just being post war and things. And then he was, um, um, you know, killed in a Munich air crash when he was just um, 20. I remember, you know, there's a guy here called Archie Swift and he's, he's just stopped uh, coming here. He's now um, 87 and he was, a, Eddie Coleman knew him very, very well. Mm -hmm. And when the Munich air crash happened, you know, it wasn't on, you know, people couldn't get it on the phones in those days uh, and they heard it on the radio and a lot of the people who were involved here because they knew Eddie Coleman very well, they just all made the way down to this club and they all came into the club. They didn't know what to do and they're all in tears in the club. Mm. So, so that shows it's part of this community and, and so was Eddie Coleman because he lived in um, it, um, Archie Street, I think, yeah, Archie Street. That was the, um, the street that pictures on the original um, uh, Coronation Street introduction. It, there's a picture that goes up above the rooftops and things and it's actually Archie Street where, and that's where Eddie Coleman lived. Right. There's a lot, there is a lot of excitement, you can feel it on the terraces as a fan, you can feel it around, there's mm -hmm. a bit of a buzz about the club uh, this season. What do you think is possible this season? I think anything's possible. When you look at the quality we've got in the changing rooms and, and like I touched on then, who the, man, the manager and, and the staff, um, I think anything's achievable. Um, we've got our ambitions internally, which I won't say here, but I think you can kind of gauge what, what they are. But my girlfriend comes to like every home game, as do my mum and dad. And she said that when she was just sat there, she that the fans were like speaking to each other, like they knew each other, and that just yeah, follows yeah, on from yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. It's like everybody knows everybody, and yeah. everybody's kind of in it together. So like, very rarely do you get that at a, mm -hmm. at a football club. So it's um, it is quite unique. Yeah. But do you feel that sense of pride that is within that atmosphere of the, of the fans and that? Kind of course, thing? yeah. And and like, you give a speech a, a couple a couple <laughs> of weeks ago, whenever it was, where it was about the history of Salford, and you can kind of feel that um, from the terraces, like you say. So. Um, even just through speaking to the owners and the manager and stuff like that, they kind of want that um, hard work kind of core where it's like we'll, we'll out fight, we'll out run people. So um, then we'll, once the football's come out, we'll, we'll be the better team and we'll out playing with the football at our feet. But there's always that um, core of hard work. So um, yeah, it's, it suits me to a T really. It's been quite easy to be honest. Um, I don't mean that from like a physical point of view, I mean that from like the coaches are like top, top class. Um, so it, it doesn't take them long to get the point across of, of what they're wanting and what they're expecting. So the pre-season we went over to York and that was class to them. You can get them relationships with lads when you're spending the full week with them. So um, it's been pretty seamless. Because you mentioned we're on a, we are you know, a new club in terms of hitting the Football League and we're on a journey. 
you know, try to get the, the further for it bigger and get more fans in and stuff like that. But I think the real important thing is being true to ourselves and what the soul of the club is. And um, it's that intrinsic sort of thing that you get when you feel as, you know, as soon as you walk yeah. through that. Yeah. And we're just excited for where the journey's going. And we're, we're really pleased to have you as a part of that yeah. and that you buy into it, you know, as soon as you came in here, you, you felt it yourself. So. Great to have you here today. Um, what we'd like to do is to give you one of our shirts. It's the newest one. Very proud of being a northern lad as well. Of course, so yeah. Love you to wear that. No, but appreciate that, mate. Yeah. Great. Really nice, actually. I might wear that on a Saturday night, eh? Oh, take, on this, right. take the girlfriend out. Oh, thanks, mate. I appreciate right. that. Okay.